We just heard from the president and Angela Merkel there in that joint press conference. Uh, they're talking about uh, tariffs. They're talking about North and South Korea, and they're talking about the Iran deal. Joining me with his reaction is TKNG CIO Neil Grossman. And I just want to say, Neil, it's good to have you here. Thank you, you are. Um, I call you a real renaissance man because you are a physicist, you are a lawyer, you are a former central banker, and you are a, a trader and, and former CIO of a hedge fund. And now I know you, you trade for the family account, but uh, you, you've done it all. And I always love talking to you because you. you have a very interesting perspective on all the news that's going on. So you heard what Jeffrey Sachs said. He said the president doesn't have this right on. You can't blame trade deficits for the problem that we are now in as a country. Do you agree with that? Um, I sort of partially agree with Jeffrey and partially not. Obviously, free trade is really important, or fair trade. Yeah. Um, we have trade deficits, and I will agree with him on this, because we buy too much or spend too much. And the real point comes down to we buy goods from overseas because they're cheaper than we're able to produce in this country. And the question then you have to ask yourself is why? And I think this is ultimately where the lack of American competitiveness comes in in many ways. It can come because there, there is manipulation of currency. It can come in manipulation of interest rates. But it can also come from things, for example, you're a ma major American company. Mm -hmm. You pay your own health care costs, and they're very significant part of your expenses. Mm -hmm. You're competing with a country where the country, for example, subsumes the cost of, of, of health care or those general health care costs are lower. So now you have a company in the United States that has very high expenses mm -hmm. competing with a company overseas Why? that has its, that, that has functionally subsidized their... Because um, the government the is, government is subsidizing for health care. So at healthcare. the end of the day, I, I, you know, again, maybe the lack of precision is correct, but you have to get under the hood and understand why an American is being offered a good produced, say, in China versus a good here, and the co relative cost, you know, labor, but et cetera. People, labor's and a big until, part well, of but it, that's yeah. a big part of it. So, but, but and tariffs are also a part of it too. Well, and tariffs. Listen, I can't argue with the president. There's just no reason that we. That, for example, one of the ones that would drive me crazy: an American business wants to go into China. Mm -hmm. American business has to have a Chinese um, capital partner to do business there. Why? Why? Do, why does you know? Um, Goldman Sachs or J.P. Morgan have to have a 50-50 venture partner to do banking or, you know, Ford to have a, a partner for manufacturing. Why can't an American company make a decision that wants to go I, in with that? I'm it? with you wholeheartedly, right. and this is, the president's made a big deal of this. Right. You know, what's amazing is nobody's bothered to go there before. Why is it, Neil, that everybody's ignored that? Is that big money in, in, in Washington that, you know, the, the CEOs are so obsessed with quarterly earnings and they want to make sure that they're active in the Chinese market so that they don't put any pressure on well, I think anyone to do things differently? I think there's been an element of that, but it's an American manufacturer who's done well. Mm -hmm. Maybe it hasn't been important enough to raise this as an issue, but I think as a, on a broader scale, you know, the American trade deficits represent functionally an element of lack of competitiveness in areas that, you know, the other area, we let me just change it. something quickly. I think the other area where, you know, again, Jeffrey's a macroeconomist, and you look at this on a large scale, but discrete, this discrete effects are very important. You go into the middle of the United States, and you look at the decimation of a lot of industries ah. over the last 40 years, and I think the macro picture may say, well, tr you know, free trade's good, but it's ignoring the personal impact on a lot of people, oh, sure. and the politics sure. have begun to for reflect sure. that. For sure, and that is why... Donald Trump was elected. And I said to Jeffrey, I said, look, you know, so many of the people that are, you know, that, that you're trying to help, they went out there and they voted for Donald Trump because he is seen as the economic solution. Neil, it's good Thank to you see you. Thank you so much.